Hello, my name is Ozra and welcome to a review for you. Yes, I do review sometimes. So if you would like me to review any movie that you like or you know if you would like me to look at it, please comment down below or if you have any TV shows, I do reactions as well. So if you have any TV shows that you would like me to watch or you know even not even TV shows, you can, it can be YouTube stuff, uh, challenges, whatever. I, I'm very willing to do that. So please comment down below and let me know. Uh, so yeah, just let let me just jump right into the review. So guess what I watched? The Ragnarok. And yes, uh, it, it was already released in my country. So I may be the first. I'm not sure. I haven't checked YouTube yet. Maybe I'm the first reviewer. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, I watched The Ragnarok, and here's what I have to say. it's it's fine I you know there's gonna be a point where there's gonna be too many of these type of movies as in uh, superhero movies and I just watched the the trailer for Black Panther and the and the, and the cinema and I know I did this but uh, you know uh, I also watched the trailer for Justice League and uh, you know there's gonna be a point where I just don't have anything to say anymore but I do actually have some things to say about this so and we are gonna go into spoiler territory so if you guys feel like it's getting a little too spoilery go ahead and click out but the, the, the first part of this is most likely gonna be stuff from the trailer so don't worry about that um, okay so first things first you know the CG is pretty okay for the most part the lightning effects that you have seen on the on the trailer as well don't worry about it, it it's fine I, I definitely think that was the one where I'm like okay that's really cool uh, Hela's you know headset was really interesting as well I thought well, that was um, a well done CG though some of her like you saw her move without the CG um, and yeah it's not it's not very good at all when she has to fight and she has to fight so you know it's implied in the trailer anyway as well so yeah there you go um, I'm surprised I bought uh, Ragnarok enough I was just like okay that doesn't seem to be you know very very bad um, but definitely her movements as well with CG and she's fighting it, it's it's very noticeable um, please take note that this is a movie where if you've seen the trailers you've already kind of seen where it's gonna go I remember doing the first trailer and I'm, I was like well the the first act is gonna be X and um, here's the first kind of real spoiler I was on the money about the whole like chain thing I told my friend I looked him straight in the eye and I was like that's the first act right there because I'm just like you you can't not see it anywhere else but uh, the part of him you know being lasered down might be the second act maybe the first second act or the second second act and I was kind of right about that as well and I was like, and of course your big monster is gonna be nearing the third act and nearing the the end of the movie ish. You know, it, it's not gonna be exactly the ending, but I was actually right on the money if I wanted to say it, it's exactly the ending. I I already predicted this movie in the trailers, so I'm sorry if that's a total spoiler for you guys, but. You see, this is the thing when I say I don't know what else to say because I've already predicted things, you know, in my trailer reaction and said, hey, you know, this is going to happen, this is going to happen, and this is going to happen. So, there you go. I, I'm actually surprised that J Jeff Goldblum improved his uh, acting method a little bit. You know, he didn't do his classic, uh, 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 uh. So, you know, <laughs> it was nice to see that our, um, you know, Nostalgia Critic always, you know, kind of makes fun of that. But it's interesting. It's going to be interesting to see him take on that as well. Um, I definitely think, you know, this one is really kind of, and now it's going to be more spoilers. So if you want to click out, you can. Um, it's, it's really going into that way of like kind of, you know, 
when Wonder Woman came out, you know, you heard the so they take that and they put it in here and I have to say that Marvel knows how to use it better but I definitely think you know it's a cheap plot they kind of just want to take that away from Wonder Woman um, but overall I would say this movie is really what you'd expect you know it's stupid it's dumb but it's can't be stupid it can't be dumb you know it's a popcorn film so I'm not gonna go and say oh, this hurt me in a lot of ways I'm really very indifferent about it I know my friend said you know if I do see you say uh, you enjoyed it because there were definitely some points where I saw you laughing at the jokes um, what will be angry at you but I, I, I definitely um, think that you know even though someone can laugh and you know someone can enjoy certain parts of the movie and say yes that is the parts of the movie I really like for example the um, the part where you know in the trailer as well you know she was like uh, Ayla was like um, tell me what are you the god of again and then he goes with the fucking lightning so that was really awesome I actually expected him go sh uh, to go Shazam you know but obviously that's uh, DC um, but yeah uh, you know it's definitely one of those things I was like yeah that is really awesome to see so that's really interesting um, and another point for me was the comedy you know definitely Marvel knows already how to do their comedy you know I was laughing at some of the stuff Korg said you know but I do feel like sometimes, and I'm sorry, I'm in a minute actually, let me finish this. And I feel that sometimes they are trying to push them themselves to do like a lot of merchandising because I'm definitely seeing the marketing strings already like, you know, it's very, very thick now. It's like growing uh, stronger and stronger and you can't just not be like, oh, okay, that's not, you know, that that is a merchandising thing you know I know where it is you know you can't not say that because it's pretty obvious at this point um, one of the things I, I enjoyed about it is you know essentially Hulk's ability to kind of understand where he's at and you know it seems that he knows that you know there is someone uh, who is controlling him and it's Banner so uh, and, and I definitely want to see more of the Hulk because, you know, I hope they do the Spider-Man Homecoming route and, you know, just give him an own movie because I was actually just telling my friend as well, I do really hope that they give Hulk uh, the movie before the movie even started and, you know, as the movie progressed, I was like, yes! we need a Hulk movie because you know uh, Banner said himself like what I was Hulk for two years I didn't know that so that is definitely an interesting route you can take um, you know if you want to make it a side story if you want to even make it a romance I wouldn't mind because I definitely feel the chemistry between um, Natalie and uh, you know Bruce Banner as the Hulk and uh, as the person itself so you know I definitely oh, man, I really wish they're together, man. I shipped them. They're my OTP. They're my one true pair. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, so many normie memes. Um, so t I don't really know what else to talk about except for Loki in this because you know Loki was you know uh, uh, the god of mischief and you know of course. He, you know, he, he definitely learned his lesson, blah, blah, blah. But also, you know, he is the god of mischief. So, you know, he, you know, he, he can kind of double back on his word. Uh, so, you can't really, really blame him on that. You know, it's, that's just how it is. But, you know, there is, at points, you know, you go, well, there are some de uh, redeeming points for him. And uh, that was a part of this movie. I was just like, okay, I I get it. You, you, you earned that one. And... Uh, Spoiler alert is the part where, uh, you know, Hulk beats up, um, Thor, uh, rambunctiously. This is like, uh, something like the Avenger, the first Avengers, uh, one where Hulk just throws Loki around. And Loki stands up and is like, yes! 
now you know how it now you know how it feels you know i was like okay you earned that one bro you earned that one so i can't i can't really take anything away from him um but i can take something away from this movie which is the judas of this movie which is essentially a double agent um a guy named scrooge scooch or scrooge or whomever starts with an s continue with the k but i don't know the rest um i definitely think that guy shouldn't have been in the movie i know a lot of you are like but uh, but you know he served in the plot where you know he was helping hela but then he kind of redeemed himself so it was kind of that trope but i was like did we really need that though like We've already had like a lot of characters and I mean a lot of characters in this like they don't play around even though they're side characters or they're extras whatever they're still acting and I consider them kind of characters obviously and um, spoiler alert again Heimdall is back um, and I really wanted to see more of Heimdall I definitely think I'm more of the side people and I like, just like ah, I want more Heimdall um, not Stephen Strange, because I was just like, hmm, that, that still kind of pains me to kind of really talk about, because I didn't really enjoy uh, Doctor Strange, and I'm sorry about that, but, you know, I was just like, yeah, this is something I already know is going to happen. Something like this movie, but I definitely think something in, you know, Doctor Strange really, really pissed me off somehow, and I guess it's the Asian thing as well. But it's also, you know, the the realm of mystic and, you know, there was a point uh, where there was a MacGuffin and, you know, one guy said, no, you gotta use it. And then he uses it and the end, but it's alright because he's the hero. What the fuck is that, huh? Huh? Okay, so, I definitely think that the Valkyrie is really hot. Like, I definitely think I have a crush on her. Like, you know, she she's cute and she's really badass I was, I was just like mm. um but my friend preferred Hela and I was just like the makeup on Hela is pretty weird but I can definitely see the appeal there but the most annoying thing for me and again uh, spoiler alert is the CG on Thor's eye there is a part where Thor's eye gets taken down and it's supposed to be gory but I'm just like what the fuck is that is, is that is that supposed to be blood it's not guys come on come on come on you gave us fucking lightning come on man but that's just me that's just me. um so what would i rate this um barring comparing this to to wonder woman which my my friend brought up he said i finally watched wonder woman and i think you know, it was fine, but uh, it wasn't really anything to shout about, and I was like, yeah, that's my thoughts exactly. Uh, I, I feel the same way I do with Thor, because, you know, apparently Thor is supposed to be this sophisticated person, but, you know, they, they dumbed him down and whatever, and I'm like, okay, fine. Uh, but there, there is a point where I'm just like, mm, you know, Thor can be so much more than just this frat boy who kind of just doesn't give a shit anymore but i definitely see the appeal in that and there was a point where you know when women talk about uh you know why why, why do girls always have to be in this skimpy clothing there's literally a point in this movie where thor is shirtless and i 100 percent sure that is gonna attract more girls to to the movie screen because of that. Uh, you know, they're gonna be talking to them. Ooh, look at that! It's so hot. So there you go. It's now equal, people. Okay, stop commenting on it. Um, sexuality it shouldn't be shunned. People it should be celebrated. Celebrated. You know. Of course, you, you have to draw a line at some point, you know, when something is too, you know, it's, again, extremities, you know, you have to keep things in check. Okay, I'm not saying go all out. I'm not saying have orgies in the street. I'm saying girls can have eye candy. Guys can have eye candy, you know. It's balance. Balance. 
and I like that they actually like uh, addressed it in the uh, film as well when Thor was like just babbling on and he's like well I actually wanted to be a Valkyrie when I grew up but I couldn't because I found out girls were in it and I lost appeal to it not because that was girls I respect all women and you know um, girls are really badass and you know it's about time <laughs> so it's like yes good on you Marvel good on you anyway I really want to give this a 7 lower than my you know official Wonder Woman but you know initially I wanted to give it a 7 as well but there are points where I say okay this movie did sell me more on Idris Elba and you know some of the slow motion stuff was really okay it was really cool to see that the lightning effects uh, are still getting me into it the characters not so much because I'm just like yeah okay they're there but they're not really doing anything except for fighting and that's what they always do anyway um, funnily enough you know the only character that kind of really got to me was Loki and I guess because I relate to a lot to Loki um, and of course a bit of uh, Korg because of this like yeah I get where you're coming from Korg um, and he seems very familiar I, I feel like I've heard his voice before you know it's just one of those voices that is very familiar to me but is his name is slipping my mind and I'm just like mm, I'm just so I'm just so sad that I can't remember his name I'm so sorry uh, buddy uh, but yeah I definitely think this movie is um, I guess I could give it a 7.3 and it won't hurt me at all but just know that this is kind of the middle of the road movie that I'm just like well I'm glad I saw it but my hype wasn't there and it shouldn't have been there and I'm I'm gonna be fair to I'm gonna be fair to Marvel fans and say this I'm not gonna be super biased towards Star Wars I know you guys say oh you know he's a, he's a Star Wars fanboy so you know Mr. Lucas already put this dick up his ass and you know he's running him to the bank I'm just saying that Star Wars is not, has not been on the big screen for a long time and that's why I'm just so excited every time it comes back because eventually we are not going to have Star Wars anymore and you know just gift that to me and of course I'm going to be fair to Star Wars you know I'm going to say some things that you know some Star Wars fans would be like well Judas but you know it's my opinions and it's a criticism it's a it's a form to say okay you can do this but you just do it a little bit better and that should be fine so yeah my official rating is 7.3 maybe 7.25 who knows um you know i just i just think that this is a good movie to kind of just bring your friends and enjoy it you know just bring some popcorn you know laugh a bit and, and you know just sleep and then come back because I literally went out of the I literally left the room for like five minutes and I didn't lose a bit because I was just like well that scene wasn't needed because I already got what whatever's on the board and I didn't even need to ask my friend what happened you know I was just like yeah I exactly know what happened you know probably they went to Jeff Goldblum and Jeff Goldblum was like uh uh just chased him and, and he did so there you go there you go um that's about it guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'm so sorry if the video lagged i just saw it and i was like hmm, what happened there uh but yeah guys that's about it and thank you guys so much for watching if you would like to see more from me please hit that subscribe button if you'd like to support me more please share my videos and if you'd like to see you know hear more from me please hit the bell and also remember to leave a like if you like this video and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video which is most probably going to be Gotham 
Gotham. Gotham. <laughs> uh, Riverdale. Maybe Stranger Things. I think it's out today. I'm not sure. I have to double check. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.